anybody have any questions? Problem of what? I should. I should. Where'd you get the idea of what you should do? Where'd that come from? Whenever you think about I should, where's that idea come from? That's that's the point. Usually, it's something you heard from outside, or it's something you want. So that's why it's a problem. So you have to see where it comes from. You know, most people say, oh, you know, I want to rob that store, but I should not rob that store. <laughs> What's that mean, you know? Every society tells me don't rob stores or I don't want to go to jail. It's not like a pure thought. There's something behind it. So you better see what's behind it. That's all. If you don't see what's behind it, then you're being controlled by some idea. Doesn't matter whether it came from you or from somebody outside. So you have to see what the original point, where it came from, the I, you know, the desire or something. I don't want to go to jail, you know, or God said that's bad. Yes, there's some idea behind it. First, see what your original thing is. If it's a desire, then you will get a problem. <laughs> if it's a bodhisattva desire, even if you get a problem, that's okay. You, you, it won't be, you won't be bothered. But if you do bodhisattva act, somebody said even bodhisattva action functions by cause and effect. So you may do some bad action that helps people. You may still get in trouble for it. But if it really was for others, that's okay. Go to jail is okay. Die is okay. If it's really for others. But you know, some people say, I only did this for you. That's not true. <laughs> so whenever you use the word should, be aware. There's some idea underneath it, some desire underneath it. So that means it haven't seen through the motivation, where it's coming from. How is the terrorist also thought they are the monster? What's that? The terrorist. The terrorist? The terrorist? Yeah. That's their idea that they're bodhisattva. If you, it, Diamond Sutra says, if you think you're a bodhisattva, that's not a bodhisattva. You want to blow up Musangsa? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to help everybody. They won't have to get up at 4 a.m. You know, late at night, all the Moktaks disappear. <laughs> One morning, you know, where are the Moktaks? <laughs> I saved everybody from suffering. <laughs> oh, maybe Sansanim, yeah, he wanted to hide all the shoes. He's helping everybody. Now, I think he wanted to freak everybody out. He said one time that uh, when he, uh, you know, turned the Buddha around or when he did each of those things, he said everybody was... He said, everybody's saying, oh my God, there's ghosts in the mountains, or maybe we're not practicing hard enough. 
That seemed to be what his idea was. But do you notice when he got transmission, Kobangsin put him on silence for three years? <laughs> there may be more to that than we realize. <laughs> I asked him once, Sansanim, you know, when you, when you got transmission, Kobangsanim told you no teaching for three years, but when you give us Inca, you make us do a lot of teaching. That time he said, Asian people learn from silence, Western people learn from action. I don't know about this thing about Asian people learn from silence, but, uh, and maybe that's not, if it was true, maybe it's not anymore. But definitely, I felt in my case, and most of the other Westerners, action is what taught us a lot. Doing things, having to do things. That's when it seemed to be, we really learned. If you were just sitting silently all the time, you know, especially by yourself, I don't know how much you'd learn. That's why, you know, well, Bodhidharma knew what he was doing. He was waiting for one Chinese person to appear who, who had a big, who, who was ready. There was a, a, some, a painting on the wall. I mean, literally, the painting was on the wall. I don't think it was hung there. Maybe you remember. Before you went in the big Dharma room at PZC, and it said, it was a painting of Bodhidharma, and it said, uh, Bodhi. Dharma sat nine years in Sorum, full of spite. What's the Korean word for spite? Spite means like sort of, kind of anger, you know, like, um, what? Yeah, it's like you're doing something on purpose against others. So it said, sat nine years in Sorum full of spite. It's like, okay, you don't listen to me. Well, I'm not going to do anything for nine years, you know, like that. And then it said, he killed all Buddhas, all Bodhisattva, all, all Bodhisattva, all people. And I was going into the Dharma room that day really pissed off. And I saw that and I thought, oh, then I'm okay. I mean, I'm just angry today. Bodhidharma was angry for nine years. <laughs> So it's like, it's okay, you know, just go sit anyway. <laughs> so when you're angry, you hate everybody, you want to blow up Musangsa, just go sit, okay? That's enough. <laughs> you're probably not helping people by stealing all the mock talks or blowing up the building. <laughs> yeah. 